There are people in Health Canada who know what the true science is. There are people in Health Canada and the health authorities who have been coerced into doing things that they really knew was wrong. I really want those people to write to the International Criminal Court uh, as an email, or if they're a bit afraid of that, uh, whatever means possible, just to give their evidence as to how they have been manipulated by their boss to actually do the wrong thing. For Rebel News, I'm Tamara Ugolini, and today's report is the second part of a two-part series where I discuss pandemic response with research scientist and clinical immunologist Dr. Philip Oldfield. If you missed the first part, I will put a link to it in the written component of this video report that you can find at rebelnews.com. The first part of our interview, we discuss why and when Dr. Oldfield began questioning the government's COVID-19 pandemic response, what he tried to do about it, and how the lack of response from Canadian governing bodies led him to speculate high-level corruption. But sorry to be the bearer of censored news, but due to the community standards of certain video streaming platforms, questioning the science is dangerous wrong think, which means that I cannot publish this report in full here. Please head on over to rebelnews.com and subscribe to our content there so that you can be sure to see all of our reports uncensored. I'll see you over there.